Hi first grade, happy Tuesday, even though it's the first day back from the long weekend. We have been learning about all the different coins. We've been learning about the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. And we are going to start learning how we can organize and sort our coins using tally marks today. Now, are you activating that schema? We've talked about tally marks before. I want you to take a second to pause and reflect on what tally marks are. Do you remember why we use tally marks or what they look like? Well, today we are going to use tally marks to collect and sort data using our coins. So let's review tally marks. Tally marks are a way that we can represent a number. A way that we can represent a number. So we represent numbers in many different ways. We've represented numbers with pictures or base 10 blocks or standard form or expanded form. But today we're going to represent a number using tally marks. Do you remember what it looks like? What does a tally mark look like? How do I make one? Hmm. That's right, a tally mark looks like this. It's just one straight line. It kind of reminds me of one, a number one, or a base 10 block, just one base 10 block. Can everybody hold up one finger for me? That's what a tally mark looks like, just one. So I looked in my purse yesterday and I got all the coins out that I could find. And I was thinking, I would love to know how many different coins I have. I know I have four different kinds in my purse. I know I have pennies. We remember that pennies are worth one cent. I know I have at least one nickel. We remember nickels are worth five cents. I know I have some dimes in this which are worth 10 cents. And then I know I have some quarters, which are 25 cents. So I was wondering how many of each of these coins do I have in my purse? We're going to count and use tally marks today to figure out how many of each of these four coins Miss Salcedo had in her purse. So first I'm gonna write down the name of each coin. I have penny, I have nickel, I have dime and I have quarter. Okay, so now we need to count and figure out how many pennies I have in this group right here. I know that pennies are a different color than the rest of these coins. Do you remember what pennies are made of? Why, what does it make? What makes it a different color than the rest? It starts with a C. That's right, copper. So I can easily tell that I have this many pennies because they're the only ones that are copper. So let's count together how many pennies I have. Ready? One, two, two pennies. Now we're going to draw two tally marks. One tally mark for this penny and one for this penny. When I draw a tally mark, remember I'm drawing one line. There's one penny and there's two pennies. When I draw tally marks, I don't want my tally marks to be right next to each other like this. Then I can't tell how many there are. I want them to be a good distance away from each other so that I can tell this is one and this is two. So I did my tally marks for my penny. Now what's the next coin that I'm going to count from my purse? Nickel, okay. Does anybody remember what a nickel looks like? Hmm, on the front or the back? 
or maybe the edges are the edges rough or are they smooth I'm looking at all these different ones hmm well I know that the chant for the nickel it tells me that the edges are smooth and that and the nickel is thick and fat so here I know that this is a nickel because the rest of my coins all have bumpy edges so I know this is a nickel and there's Thomas Jefferson on the front I don't think I see any more nickels do you nope that's it so show me with your fingers how many tally marks I'm gonna draw for this coin that's right just one because there's only one nickel so there's my one tally mark for nickel I only had one nickel in my purse hmm. let's see how many dimes I have do you remember what a dime looks like I remember that the dime is the smallest and the thinnest coin so do you think that this is a dime or this is a dime that's right the smallest one is this one so it has to be this this is the dime now let's see how many dimes you think I have we know that they're gonna be the smallest so out of this coin collection right here can you count how many dimes you think I'm gonna have and then we're gonna do it together push pause count the dimes and then push play when you're ready okay you should have paused the video and counted how many dimes I have in this collection right here let's see if you got it right I have one two three four five six seven seven dimes is that the number that you counted great job now we've counted but we haven't done our tally marks yet when I do tally marks I do the one line so I'm gonna start one and I'm gonna keep going two three four does anybody remember what you do when you get to five tally marks I remember when we learned about tally marks I don't write five right next to each other I do something different when I get to five what do I do oh you're so right I have to cross my fifth one over it makes a group of five because remember counting one by one all together it takes a lot longer than if we have groups of five skip counting by five is so much faster than counting ones all the way to 100 it takes so much more time so when we're drawing tally marks we get to five we're gonna draw our fifth one across our other four one two three four five is across I know that this group right here is automatically five so I have five I need to keep going five six seven I had seven total good job now my last coin that was in my purse was a quarter how many quarters did I have in my purse show me with your fingers four one two three four I want you to t pause the video and I want you to go get a piece of paper and a pencil or something that you can write on and with and I want you to draw four tally marks for these quarters that I had in my purse four tally marks when you're done push play okay you should have paused the video and drawn four tally marks one to represent each one of these quarters let's see if this is what you got four tally marks I do one line for each one one two three four is that what yours looks like it doesn't are you sure what did I do wrong did I mess up oh are you sure I can kind of tell that that's four can you not okay let me redo it let me erase I'll start over help me this time I'm gonna start with my first one ready one two three okay that's much better I agree my other two were too close together it looked like one big fat tally didn't it so make sure when you're drawing your tallies you can tell that each one is one tally mark great job today you're taking a quick assessment to show what you've learned about counting coins with tally marks bye first grade see you tomorrow